everybody. I hope you're doing well. And today I'm going to be talking to you about some of the crafts that I like to do. So here you can see me drawing out a pumpkin. And as you'll see, I draw out the pumpkin and then laminate the pumpkin and turn it into a magnet. So just whilst I am drawing, I will read to you some of what Druid Halloween is all about. So, the Druid name for Halloween is pronounced as Samhain, but as you can see, the word itself is spelt very differently, so be careful with this one. <laughs> so, Samhain is the Druid name for Halloween. It is Scottish Gaelic for All Hallows. So according to tradition, Samhain lasts for three days, from the 31st of October to the 2nd of November. It is said that during these three days, the veil of time is lifted, and we may communicate with the other world. So I think this is a fascinating concept, that the veil is lifted and, as I will go on to talk about shortly, the reason that this could be very helpful to us is to connect with things like our ancestral line, or just simply connecting with spirit. and things like that. So in Christianity, these three days have been renamed as All Hallows Day on the 31st, All Saints Day on the 1st, and All Souls Day on the 2nd of November. Samhain is considered a time of change, as crops had to be gathered by the 31st of October. From summer to winter, where our light and warmth is now to be had by the hearth. This time of transition is when chaos reigned and this was marked in a number of ways, including the famous trick or treat. So, around Halloween time is said to be a time of causing some hysteria, some confusion for people, and I think it has a great, great deal to do with the fact that the light of the day is getting shorter, and without our precious sunlight, um, things can seem a bit scarier in life. Those dark mornings and dark nights, but, as we will go on to discuss in this video, there are plenty of things to do to keep yourself uplifted and utilise this time wisely. So, in Scotland, the boundary between the living and the dead was obliterated by young men impersonating spirits with masked faces. And this is apparently where the which old tradition of dressing up for Halloween comes from. Samhain is also a time for divination, since the subtle realms are said to be closer. In England, we also celebrate, five days later, something called Bonfire Night, or Guy Fox Night. This used to be an important feature of Halloween celebrations, so on Bonfire Night, typically we set off lots and lots of fireworks and have a big fire. And this used to be the um, celebration that 
would happen for Halloween also. In the ancient world view, darkness always precedes light, and so Halloween is thought by scholars to be the original Celtic New Year. The essential features of Samhain are greeting and connecting with ancestors and loved ones who have passed on. But also it is a time for divination and for saying goodbye to the old and preparing for the new. For now, I would like to guide us into a ancestral meditation. So when we begin to think about the idea of our ancestral selves, I want you just to take a moment to ponder this notion. The notion of your ancestral self. And of course, as you do so, allow yourself to breathe. And with your breath, allow your body to become relaxed. And as your body becomes relaxed, allow yourself to let go of any tension and allow your thoughts to become quieter. So as you ponder the idea of your ancestral self, Pause for several breaths, consciously leaving any of your daily concerns aside and allowing yourself to relax. Relax, relax, relax. Feel the earth beneath you and the sky above you. Feel yourself grounded and centered. And when you're ready, ask yourself, what is your history? What is your lineage? yourself to be present to whatever images and thoughts or emotions become apparent. Ancestors, known and unknown. Ancestors of my body. Ancestors of my spirit. All those who have given form to my life. Who have made me who and what I am. Body and soul. Mothers of mine. Fathers of mine. Teachers. Guides. Healers. Nourishers. Show us of the way to go. Whose earth is in me. All you whose spirit is in me. On this night of Samhain, I feel
feel you near. At this time of no time, I call to you. <laughs> 